When it comes to settings in CSGO, they are sort of split in a way that some are just personal preference and others actually do help you in game overall. I'll be talking about both of these sides today and I want to specifically focus more on the settings that aren't really down to personal preference that do actually help you in game. Now depending what computer you guys have, some of these settings might not actually work for you so you have to adjust them accordingly. However, I'm not making this video to help you improve FPS, I'm making this video to help you understand why you should have these settings if you are trying to improve in CSGO. So straight away when you come into this video settings bit, you'll be hit with the first block of settings. Now the one here that isn't really personal preference is display mode. This has to be put on full screen as you will get things like input lag while playing. The aspect ratio is however a little bit of personal preference, while technically 16 by 9 is actually the best resolution as you can see everything on your screen, it is only used by about 13% of pros while 4 by 3 or either stretched or black bars for that matter, is used by about 75% of all pros that are currently playing. Now you can argue this is for, I guess, personal preference of the pros, or some of them are playing from 1.6 and Source or whatever it is, and are just simply used to 4x3. However, within 4x3, about 73% of all of these players play stretched instead of black bars. Now I think this all comes down to players just sort of liking the larger player models, and it feels more immersive and easier to hit the target. The main disadvantage that I think by playing 4x3 is that you can't see the edges of your screen and can also be Ferrari peaked much easier because everything just looks a lot faster. But overall aspect ratio does actually come down to personal preference so just play whatever you are comfortable on. Now global shadow quality you should put on high if you can, obviously depending on your computer, if your computer is a low spec then you might have to lower all these a little bit, but the reason for keeping this on high is that on lower settings some shadows don't even appear whatsoever that you'll need for some lineups. Effect and shaded details should also be put on high as these are the two main settings that actually helps you look through molotovs as when they're down in front of you as it takes away more of the black smoke. Boost play contrast is actually a little bit of personal preference here because when it comes to looking at someone behind a molotov, it is actually a little bit harder to see them if you have this turned on. I don't know why that is, but it, it just seems to work like that. But if it does help you see um, enemies, then please turn it on. Personally, I would have it on, but it really comes down to if you see a difference or not because I personally don't see a massive difference. You want to make sure that multi-core rendering is enabled while everything else under this on the setting can be disabled or put to lower just to simply help you with FPS as they don't really matter that much. With texture filtering, I would put it to bilinear and then also just with the uber shaders, just leave it to automatic, whatever it's on, as this is what Valve recommended themselves as well. So if it's enabled for you, leave it on that, disabled, leave it on that, okay? Just have it on automatic. Vsync is also quite an important one that I want to touch on and this is important to have off because I believe it creates quite a lot of tearing while playing because it does force your monitor for the vertical and horizontal frames to be synced up with the refresh rate so please do disable the setting or as it will cause tearing. The next thing I want to be touching on are the launch settings. Now some of these are a little bit of personal preference like Novid for example, but some of the other ones will actually help you out. So like I just said, using minus Novid will remove the intro video at the start when you load up CSGO. I'm sure almost all of you already know this one because it's probably the most common one, but also another one that sort of isn't really personal preference is having minus tick rate 128. This will mean that any local server that you go on, so aimbots or even if you go on a server a lot of config, smoke practice, whatever it is you're using it for will also be 128 tick for you. FPS max is actually a useful one as many of you might not even know this but just put it at a number. Don't have it at zero okay. You want to set it to something either like 300 FPS if you're on a 244Hz monitor for example or maybe just put it to 200 if you're on a 144Hz monitor or whatever. The reason you should put it at max is to remove the possibility of input delay because if you don't put a cap in it and put it to zero you can sort of get lag spikes and freeze it, be jittery and all this stuff. So please just put a maximum on it. Now moving on to rate 786432. This one quite a lot of people might not even know but this is the ideal rate that Valve have put into the game about three years ago now I believe it is. So I also suggest you just put that on. Also this last one is sort of for preference as well if you're wanting to stream the game or use OBS for example like I'm doing right now then you also need to use this one called allow third party software in order for you to pick up your game and record it. With other settings like crosshair and sensitivity, they're completely down to your preference, okay? You're a player who is trying to find their way of developing themselves. Please don't keep 
keep changing settings, okay? Please, 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 I promise you it won't help you. The only setting you can mess around with on a couple of days basis really is your crosshair. But things like resolution, aspect ratio, and mouse sensitivity, please do not mess with them too often or try not to at all. Especially that last one, mouse sensitivity, okay? If you do change your mouse sense as you feel you're having an off day or something, I can promise you that isn't the reason. Unless you're obviously a beginner player, I'm saying if you're a more experienced player, then that probably isn't the reason why. If you're new and still trying to find your mouse sensitivity, then yeah, sure, change it as much as you want and find out what is best for you. But the human brain works in a way that if you change your mouse sense, it will sort of adapt immediately to it and it will have like a sort of placebo effect on you to think that you're playing better even though you're not. Over time this will sort of mess things up for you as you'll lose things like muscle memory that you've built over time with your old sensitivity. So just please don't mess with these settings too much. As I just mentioned, only crosshair is fine. I hope you guys have actually learned something new from this video and not just listen to me talk for 5-6 minutes long. Um, I hope this actually does help you out in either some of the video settings or launch settings or whatever it is. Maybe just the tips like I said, try not to change your settings too much and get used to them more. Um, but thank you so much for watching guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. It's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very very soon.